Hi, my loves. Welcome back. Today's video, I actually have three luxury bag unboxings to show you. Yes, you've seen from the title, one is a super hard to get Fendi bag. This one I am super excited about, but I have another two more to show you. And I am just as excited about these because I don't think many people know about it. And you know me, I love introducing you guys to new luxury brands. And best of all, these bags are actually made in Italy. So I'm gonna get right into the video and show you my first bag. Before we get into the Fendi unboxing, I wanna show you the first two bags because I actually think you will find this probably more interesting and it's kind of like a new discovery for me. So in this box here, I have got two bags to show you. So it says Myrta, but it's actually not the brand of the bag. And let me explain. So when this luxury company approached me, I was so intrigued. Oh, look at the packaging. Luxury made by people, not brands. So I will show you the first bag. Let me just put the box down for a second. So this website operates so differently to any luxury platform I've seen. So basically what they do is that they curate a whole bunch of Italian, like made in Italy, Italian artisans that hand make bags. And we as consumers can now access, you know, all these little workshops in Florence and all over Italy. And I love this new platform because it really gives us direct access to these brands and we would have no idea about them. Anyway, the first one I wanna show you and oh my gosh, so excited. I've actually already used this bag. It is from a company called Boldrini Celeria and they've been around since 1955. So it came in this dust bag and guys, check out this bag. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. Wow. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a bag like this before, but for me, I have not seen anything from the luxury designers or anything quite like this. First of all, look at the application of how they've done this sort of pleating detail. It kind of looks like, a, like an armadillo armor. This is not an easy process to do. And I was just intrigued by that. Actually, this particular seller, that's kind of like their thing. They've got a whole bunch of bags. I was really, really tempted to pick the one that was completely circular. That was very, very cool. But in the end, I decided to go for this crossbody option because I think that it's just a little bit more usable. Though the other one is like a bestseller. So it just has this flap. And when you open it up, let me take everything out. See, I've already taken all the tags out and everything. So the backside of the front leather flap is just raw finish, but inside the bag, this is all lined in suede. There is a zip pocket and then a little leather pocket here that you know you can just put cards in. And I just, I fell in love with the circular shape. I love all the details, like the covered buttons. It even's got this extra little line on it. It does come with a detachable uh, clochette. The strap is adjustable. So you can wear this, as you can see me wearing crossbody, but if you shorten the strap to the shortest length, it looks so, so cute as just a shoulder bag. And even though it looks like it is quite small, it absolutely does fit my phone. My phone is an iPhone 13 Pro, like no problem, no problem at all. So it looks small, but it will fit all my essentials. And to me, it is like a little work of art too. You know me and art and bags, I just love it. So it is actually slightly asymmetrical if you look at that, but that is not a fault at all in the bag. It's because of how they've kind of had to really cut each piece of leather, then sort of put it 
all together like this. As I said, it's not easy at all. And I forgot to tell you, all the bags are actually handmade to order by each artisan. So this bag is actually called the Operetta and it comes in three colors. So I picked the ivory and because I do have, a, I love the tan by the way. And this is like a calf skin vegetable tanned leather. So in the gold color or the tan color, it will patina over time. The smell of this leather is just so delicious. But I don't have that many ivory bags and that's why I chose this. But I haven't seen something so unique like this. And this, get this price guys. So it's handmade by each artisan, made to order but it's only like 438 USD. I mean, nowadays that's a card holder. Actually, you know what? That's not even a card holder in Chanel. What am I saying? Chanel card holders are probably like 600 or something, but then you get a handmade bag like this. The craftsmanship is impeccable. And can I just say from my own personal experience, going to Italy, visiting these workshops, it's, it's just mind blowing. I love that they pass down their traditional craftsmanship through the generations. And yeah, this is a family owned business as it's been around for like 70 plus years. So yes, you know I'm always transparent with you. This video is in partnership with Myrta, but they contacted me a while ago and I really wanted to research the brand, actually go and look at all the different Italian artisans that they've curated. And I was just so impressed. There is an offer. So even though it's 438, I do have a code for you and I had to ask them. I know a lot of you guys may think, oh, okay, Mel's always got a code, but because you guys always ask me, I always ask them. So I don't make any commission from this code. So currently on their site, they've got like a promotion at the moment where, you know, if you spend a certain amount, you get percentage off, but my code is actually better. My code, which is just Myrta times Mel, it's only valid for one week from this video, guys you can get 25% off. So 25% off $438 takes it down to like 300, approximately $329. And I actually could not believe the prices. So nearly all their bags, the 25% will work on. And what's even better is because they have a special at the moment, they're quite a new luxury website because there's no websites out there connecting us directly to the artisan itself. What you do is if you add this heart charm, it's so cute, who, who doesn't love hearts, right? If you spend over 400, which as I said, nearly all their bags are, you can pick any one of these heart charms in red, pink or green, and it's a beautiful handmade love charm and that is free as well. Yeah, I just think it's amazing for like, $329, you actually get a handmade, made in Italy bag. So I'm really excited. I actually was looking at their sites and they have a whole heap of different artisans. And then the second one I have to show you is in this bag here. And I purposely wanted to pick a different artisan, a different company. And this one is from Fontanelli and ooh, they were established in 1860. Again, all made in Italy. This one intrigued me because you know what? So many luxury brands use Saffiano, right? And Saffiano, like Prada's made in Italy, Fendi's made in Italy, Ferragamo's made in Italy. And a lot of them do use Saffiano. So this is made from the highest quality Saffiano leather. And again, I picked this because Mel loves a top handle. So it's a very classic shape. I love a structured bag and to open it up, actually before I open it up, I love that this added feature down here, as you can see from the side, it's sort of looped up. So it's actually harder to do that than to have it just completely, you know, flush. So little details like that, I really notice. Turn lock closure. And then when you open the bag up, of course it does come with a detachable and adjustable leather shoulder strap as well. Inside it is, let me check it all out. There is plenty of room also lined in suede with one zipper pocket and phone, even a bigger sized iPhone or your Samsung will fit no problem. Like just, it's plenty of space. 
So this company is also a family owned company. Yeah, the Fontanelli family have been around since 1860. And likewise, they've passed all their traditions or their craftsmanships down the line. And yeah, I love supporting family owned businesses. And again, the price point of this is amazing. Like this, it does give you vibes of similar shapes out in the market, but it still has its own feel. Little things like you know, the side little D rings can be folded up. So it almost looks really flush when you are carrying it handheld, very elegant handheld. But then when you attach, attach the shoulder strap, which is really easy, these actually can bend down and it's super easy to attach. And then, you know, you've got yourself a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag, however you like to wear it and voila. I picked the Navy because I actually don't have that many Navy bags. And I love Saffiano leather. Saffiano is a leather that's super durable. As you can see, I'm scratching it. It's pretty scratch resistant, water resistant. So this bag is actually one of their best sellers. Actually, both of them are. The Operetta and the Elvira are both top sellers. This one does come in more colors. I believe it comes in six different colors. So on price, this is only 401 USD. So then once you take the 25% off, it, it's only costing you like 300 USD. And just for like, I actually tried it because I do have one in my cart. I'm thinking of getting one for my bestie. My bestie's turning 40 this year. So I want to get her a special bag. And this is made in Italy. I was actually looking around and I just, as I said, the price point, it's like 300, 400 USD. And when I put in a US address and Australian address, shipping was free as well. So not am I only blown away by the prices, I'm actually blown away that these Italian, these small little quaint Italian workshops we now get access to. Previously, I only had access to that because you know I traveled to Italy as a buyer and I could see them. And now we get access to that. So I love the concept and I'm so glad that they reached out to me because I love telling you guys about new brands as much as I love all the luxury designer brands, you know, I'll still buy them, but I really appreciate craftsmanship. I really appreciate small businesses, family owned businesses. And I really do think made in Italy products with the leather application and all the sort of age old artisanal heritage passed down through the generations. Yes, I'm a little bit of a geek like that, but to me, that tells a story. And to me, that makes these bags even more worth it. So yeah, I've talked a lot about these because I know that luxury brands are just getting more and more expensive. I know that. So as much as I love them, I will still be buying brands like this. I do not think that this is like a contemporary designer. This is a luxury handbag. Both of these companies are luxury handbags. So yes, don't forget to use my code, which is only valid for one week, add the heart charm, and then that's for free. But then that offer finishes really soon. So I love these two bags. I think they are so functional. They fit everything I need. So let me know what you guys think and definitely do explore their new ins because there's so many, there's just, an, there's something for everyone. Okay, so now let's move on to Fendi and this bag here can I just say was super, super hard to get. Now it didn't actually come in the Fendi bag, but it did come in the Fendi box. It is a new bag. When I decided I wanted it, Australian website had completely sold out. The store, my local boutiques had completely sold out and I'm not a regular Fendi customer. I do like Fendi, but I wouldn't say I go in and purchase a lot. So I utilized my Farfetch concierge service. This video is not sponsored by Farfetch, but again, I do work with them. But one of the benefits is you can get someone to look for a bag for me. And so she found it. And let me show you what's in here. You guys may guess already. And so in here from the Farfetch personal concierge service, you know what was really cool? It actually ended up working out cheaper because they found it in Europe than the Australian price. So let me just show you and I'll talk about price. So in here is dun, 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 the ah, iconic Fendi sequin baguette. As Sarah Jessica Parker said, it's not a bag, it's a baguette. You know, I'm a big SATC fan. I'm sure lots of you guys are as well. In the recent 
Sex in the City, you know, movie that came out at the end of last year. Of course, she was carrying her sequin purple Fendi baguette, which sold out so quick. That was the first release, I think the purple and the pink. So this was the next release. So I actually really wanted something metallic. To me, metallics are neutrals. So let me just show you the bag. So this one's got tones of gold, silver and copper or rose gold. So all different materials. I love mixing materials. And so this one really, really appealed to me. I do not own a sequin bag. I love purple, don't get me wrong, and that's very, very iconic. But a metallic bag to me is probably a little bit easier to wear. Anyway, this one is a little bit different from the purple one because what I really love about it, see these handles? They can actually sort of move and it's not like a normal D-ring. So if I open the bag up, inside there is this strap here. So inside it is all in satin lining. Fendi also is made in Italy, but uh, they're, but they're based in Rome. Also very, very beautifully made product. But obviously the difference is that this is like 4,200 USD compared to like 300, 400 USD. So there is a big price difference. So yes, with luxury designers, you absolutely are paying for the brand name. This one really appealed to me because I don't have a sequin bag and it is iconic. Fendi Baguette is one of the most iconic bags you can get. So even though it's trendy, you will see the Fendi Baguette in so many different materials from sequins to different leathers to furs to Oh my gosh, tapestry, anything, suede, everything and anything. It's an iconic shape, I love it. I do own, you know, my pink and red Fendi baguette as well, but that's in fabric. And yeah, of course it fits my phone, plenty of space as well. It's got a bit of give. So as I was saying, cause I'm getting a bit excited, it does still actually come with these little rings. So what I liked about this one is, yes, this is predominantly used. You thread this through here. Let me just quickly do it now. So I've just quickly threaded it through this sort of buckle detail here. And really the Fendi Baguette is a shoulder bag and that's how it should be carried. But the reason why I loved this one is because, you know, when, I did, when you detach this gold strap, this one, as I've shown you before, it sits flush. So you know, if you wanted to take the strap off, it looks super, super cute as a clutch. You know, it even goes with what I'm wearing now because metallics are neutrals to me and you could be wearing any color jewelry. And then actually, oops, I still got my phone in here. Because it's got these two D rings right here, here and here, if you detach this, you can go wild with your imagination and attach any strap you want. So if you are more of a crossbody person, you could attach a longer strap, a thicker strap if you wanted. You could still wear it like this and do a thicker canvas strap. You could completely remove this. You could have a chain strap and make it crossbody. The options are endless. So I really liked that and that differed a little bit to the purple version. So what do you guys think? I know it's not for everyone, but I think it is fabulous. Fendi is fabulous. And I know some of my fellow luxury YouTubers have this bag as well. Hi, Dale. Hi, Amelia. I know you guys have this in purple. That's amazing too. But for me, I wanted to go metallic. And yeah, it's just all sold out. Oh, it came in green. It came in a another sort of graduation with pinks. So this, as I said, in USD, I think it's 4,200, but Australian is $6,300. So that is quite hefty. And you know, unless you really love Fendi, people think, okay, well, it's not really worth it. It's not even, you know, full leather bag. I mean, it does have leather, but to me, I really loved it because I appreciate different materials and I appreciate, you know, different brands from small Italian family workshops to obviously high-end designer to vintage to pre-loved. I'm just a bag lover. Totally admit, I just love bags. So yes, what do you guys think of this bag? I just think it's super cool. I think it will really jazz up an outfit. 
Yeah, I don't really care that it's trendy. If people don't like it, you just buy what you love. Don't worry about what other people think. And yeah, I've just noticed all inside here, it's even beaded. There's all hand beading through here in gold as well. If I find anything similar or if the, just check the websites, but the last time I checked, it was all sold out. It's so popular. I wouldn't be surprised if Fendi re-released it again in new colors, but I think it's fabulous. I love it. Made in Italy made in italy and then <gasps> made in italy three totally different bags but each adding something so individual to my collection and i'm thrilled to add these babies to my bag family so that is it for this video guys you know with my unboxings even though i do love to show you all the pretty things i like to be informative and educate you guys too on what i discover so they're almost like edu hauls does that even make sense but you know what I mean. So if you were interested in trying out some of the bags from Myrta, there are so many Italian designers on there. You will not regret it. It is amazing. But don't forget to use my code, which is only valid for a week, which is just Myrta times Mel. Again, I don't make any commission on that. It's just a discount for you guys because I had to ask and they took a while to get back to me on that. And yeah, you get a free heart charm. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do follow me on my Instagram here. I will be styling these bags and I would love for you to join my Instagram family. I often do giveaways there too. I have a giveaway coming up for you guys very soon, which is not part of the 300K, it's just because <laughs> so stay tuned for that if you haven't already do subscribe and join our family thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye guys